Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I've put one, two, three, four shelves together. I'm working on the fifth one now. I'm using two two by fours to separate the tubs to the next shelf so that way I can still get my hand in here to get to the water dish. I only have one more shelf to do, so I'm gonna screw in this last piece. I'm also using a level because my boards were a little warped and I was trying to keep it even. So this one's four inches and this one's maintaining four and three quarters to five inches depending on how warped the boards are. So they're they're not gonna be even because like I said I'm not a master craftsman. I'm I'm just doing this because it's cheap, easy, and it's a do-it-yourself. It saves you a lot of money and time and effort. You just have to put the time and effort into it. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm making sure this is level, because if this is level, then the tub's gonna sit level on it. See, slide right in and out. I haven't put the slides on, because like I said, I wasn't gonna do that until later. So I'm just putting the tubs on each one, and then I'll figure out where I'm gonna put my slides after I get done doing this. So I'm gonna put this one together, and then I'll show you putting the last one together. And then I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna do the slides, and then I'll record doing that after I figure it out. All right, so just bear with me for a second. I'm gonna screw this last one in. I'll show you how I do the last one. Like I said, I have the quick change. So I just make sure that the shell is as level as it's gonna get. Like I said, as long as you have something like this that you can quick change and stuff between, it makes it a lot easier. You can just drill, screw, drill, screw, drill, screw. And yes, I am using an impact driver, so that way it doesn't slip, it just hits and keeps hitting. Yeah, it's disturbing everything in this room, but yeah. So that's that one. That one's level. Alright, so I'm gonna get the next tub. And as I said, I've already I've already prepared the tubs with my little end, which that's the last video I made. See, it'll fit right on there perfectly. It doesn't come over the back, so everything's good. And the mice can't get out. They're very unhappy with me right now because I'm making a lot of noise. But then I take this one and I put it on top. Like I said, this just gives me, for the most part, you know, it gives me almost perfect separation. And then, like I said, I level it to make it good. All right, so this is going to be shelf number six. Like I said, you try to get it as close to the back of this as you can, but as, as you can see, I've not made mine very... I've not made my shelves very square, I'll say that. Because that apparently did pretty bad when I was screwing them together. There is a tool at Lowe's that you can get that allows you to um, that allows you to do the to do the angles to where you have the piece here and you screw the piece here and so it's perfectly squared. Yeah, about four and three quarters and about four, so that's it's even as uneven as it is. It's still even. But I would highly suggest getting one of those uh, frame tools. They're about $16 here at my local Lowe's. Wait, wait, I did that upside down. I'm glad I found that before I screwed that in. <laughs> Gotta make sure I put it in right. Oh, let's do that again. Alright, make sure, make sure it's as close as we can get. Yeah, about four and three quarters. About four. All right. Like I said, I take my level and make sure it's level front to back. It's as level side to side as I'm gonna get. Like I 
this is where you have to make sure you watch out for that screw in the back. I think I might have hit it with that second screw. Since I ran out of screws, I'll be back. 